It's week two of the new school year and the Florida Department of Education just released new rules regarding school chaplains. According to the department, these rules are meant to be a model for districts across the Sunshine State to ensure that credible chaplains are volunteering in Florida classrooms. CBS 12's Amber Robb joins us live tonight with a look at those rules. Amber? Districts are allowed to hire chaplains on a volunteer basis to provide support services and counseling to students. It's not a requirement, but at participating schools, parents will be allowed to permit their students to utilize a chaplain's services. The Florida Department of Education releasing guidelines for volunteer school chaplains. Those guidelines detail what a chaplain is. They also outline basic requirements such as the need for a background check, having a local religious affiliation, possessing a graduate degree in counseling or theology, and working as a chaplain for at least two years. Palm Beach Atlantic University's Dean of Ministry, Jonathan Grenz, says having extensive requirements is important, and he wishes these went further. All of our students have to take clinical pastoral education, and that's a very specific program that is experience plus, uh, ed, uh, plus classroom experiences coming together. And that, I think, is something that's missing in the requirements. Gren says a chaplain's job isn't to convince people to change their faith or even have a specific faith. They're just there to help. It really starts with listening and where the person is and, and being comfortable with that and not pushing them one way or another. Grenz's colleague, Ryan Gladwin, works to educate and train those interested in becoming chaplains at the university. He says while school chaplains are nothing new, this is the first time they're allowed in public schools in our area. We do have chaplains in kind of private school settings here. So, you know, there's a lot of, of Christian schools, you know, or, or Jewish schools within Palm Beach County. And the public school context is a new context. Gladwin says it's important that those fulfilling these volunteer roles are people who are trained to work with students who are under 18. Not all CPE training specifically trains people to be with people under 18 years of age. And I think that's important because, you know, these are, these are kids that are developing psychologically. Gladwin says chaplains can be especially helpful for this generation of students, considering that many of them have witnessed school shootings, experienced school during COVID restrictions, or faced stressors outside of the classroom. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, I'm Amber Robb, CBS 12 News. In a back to school news conference, Palm Beach County Superintendent Mike Burks, he tells CBS 12 News that the district will not be using volunteer chaplains, at least for now. Okeechobee and Martin County schools also have no immediate plans. Indian River County says they're in contact with faith leaders, legal counsel and administrators, but have nothing concrete in place. And we're still waiting to hear back from St. Lucie County District.